Can you like, just don't move. Just don't move for me. I love EGC, bro. I love EGC, I love EGC, I love EGC, I love EGC. <laughs> I love EGC so much. Pre-ordered them a while back, they finally showed up. That is a Dondozo Tatsugiri team from like series one. I am literally not allowed to lose to this with, with this guy. Um... Hmm. I don't want to lead off with it, but I also don't want to not lead off with it. Let's go Grim Snarl, Flamigo, um, Iron Bungle. Iron Bungle. I need to make sure my Dragonite's on the field when it gets that uh, stat boost. Yeah, I need to keep Bungle in the back. Can they outdon the Don Ductor? To be honest, the one thing that this team doesn't have an answer for is Don Dozo because they're always unaware. Which, yes, is very short sighted of me. Um, but I don't care about your opinion. Shut up. You think Terra Normal Ice Spinner KOs? I think my play is Earthquake because I don't think either of these will one-shot. Um, and this at the very least allows me to... This at the very least allows me to break the Sash and the Miascarada. My one biggest fear is that they're going to knock off my Mirror Herb. Remember that Toxic Orb Tatsu was a thing? That was so bad. Granted, I am running something worse. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about the Mirror Herb here. I'm just going to break it. Your voice should eat that pretty well. Yeah, these E-Speeds are gonna hurt bad. Why does Cloak not block the knockoff effect? It doesn't. It just doesn't. Because it's knockoff. Alright, let's get in Flamigo. Always e-speed you. Uh, this is definitely within throat chop range. I don't need to drop my stats or anything. Unless they have, like, quick attack, I'm not really scared of this. Are they going to quick attack me? Hello? Okay, that's fine. Um, it just makes this next turn a little bit easier. Because I'm thinking that if they're saving this, they might have just not brought the Dondozo. Possible. Alright, let's see what it is. Tatsugiri. Yeah, they definitely brought the Don Dozo. Um, and I think they're going to switch it in here. But in case they don't, my play still remains to be Earthquake. Um, yeah, my play remains Earthquake, but I think I go for close combat now. Are they going to try to protect? Are they just going to give me the Tatsugiri? Oh, they do have Quick Attack. Well, isn't that something? Oh. Oh. All right, well, now I'm a little disappointed, dude. <laughs> Can I, like, KO this Tatsugiri? Yeah, cool, I win. I was like, bro, what? <laughs> they have it? <laughs> All right, in comes the bundle.
There he is. Uh, yo, I'm sorry for your loss. I don't know, man. Alright, they have no special defense boost, so this is fine. So has a decent amount unboosted. And that didn't KO somehow. Okay, after this game, I'll do the Paldea Prelude uh, sign up, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, they're just gonna forfeit, cool. Well, not forfeit, but you know. The other thing that you do when you're losing. All right, well, let's go sign up for Paldea Prelude. Yeah, this looks like food. Uh, actually, I think that I would be very happy to lead off with this guy. Let's bring you and you. I watched it, but your record went down? Really? No? Well, I mean, no. The record has yet to update because the uh, person that I played against uh, rage quit and disconnected. And when that happens, the record doesn't update for that match until like, I don't know, like five minutes, maybe like two minutes later. Um, but it does update for everyone else playing. So I went down a little bit, I'm pretty sure. All right. This is the lead that I wanted. I am very happy with this lead. This lead makes me the big happy. Uh, let's go ahead and hit him with the Terra. Actually, I shouldn't Terra Normal here. Sorry, I was double checking to see if this thing also got own tempo. It doesn't, I had to remind myself. This makes me the big happy. Okay. Let's see if he gets fully confused. Dude, if they foul play, I will cry. Trick room, that's fine. Orange Guru, yes. That is his name. Uh, I don't... Do I Terra Normal here? I think if I just, like, Earthquake and Parting Shot, I, like, always live. Because the damage output goes down. Um, and I don't Terra Normal. Now they're going to foul play? No. No, we're still in Ultra Balls here. They're going to go ahead and just go for the uh, the Instruct. I'm going to go into my Gothitel. I guess maybe Terra Normal E Speed might have been better, but I did have to watch out for like Heat Wave. No, they're gonna eruption. Okay. Cool. Dragonite totally lives another one of those, and if this thing hits itself, got to tell this too. Nope, that's fine. Yeah, I'll be honest, I definitely could have e-speeded. I sort of overthought that one. I was like, what if they heat wave? And I'm like, eh, no. Cool. Oh, wait, that lived? Hello? All right, let's get in Flamigo. I'm not playing with this guy anymore. How did that guy live, bro? All right. Uh, e speed into use like always the play. And throw a chop into you. 
Yeah, I knew they wouldn't protect there because they haven't even so much as like done anything anti e speed related. Yeah, I, I was gonna say they don't think I have e speed because I just never clicked it. All right, can you like hit yourself so I don't have to worry about anything? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. They're gonna think you're banded only if they miss turn one, only if they just didn't pay attention. All right, now I do have Terra Normal E Speed in my back pocket, so if there's anything on the field that gets picked off by that, I 100% win. Not Annihilate, but that doesn't take a Brave Bird, so. Deli Bird, you do not live this E Speed unless you're Sash, and you are Booster Energy. Thank you, sir. All right, we're gonna Terra Normal E Speed right now. After these messages, no. All right. Paranormal E Speed U, I know that you 100% drop, and we're gonna go for the Brave Bird. To be honest, Dragonite probably is the slowest thing on this field, but it's still worth uh, E Speeding, because I think it's my highest damage move. They double protect here. They have to get a double protect on that guy for it to really matter. I just repeat my turn. They fail their protect. Let's see if they go for another. Nope. <laughs> Goodbye. Big boy. He's a big boy. And they didn't Terra here, so, uh... Yeah, no, that's not helping you, bro. That's not, that's not gonna let you live this, bro. Nice. Okay, yeah, I'll be honest, I made a questionable play at the beginning of that game as I tend to do, um, but we still won, and that's all that really matters. That's all that really matters. Also, I just realized I never announced on my, um, on my YouTube page that I was going live. But that's their problem if they're not in here, man. <laughs> all right, um, I don't know if you answered this, ads started around then, but who do you think uh, will be better Sunset or Restricted Formats? Corridon or Groudon? Groudon, 100%. Groudon just becomes so annoying with Terra Grass. It also probably just kind of beats Corridon. All right, uh, yo, this one looks like another really fun game for these guys. They do have that trick room option. Um, I'm just gonna pretend like they don't. Cool. Edge Dancer, thank you so much for the sub. You've been subbed for two months. I appreciate your support. Remember guys, if you uh, wanna subscribe to the channel here, you get an extra video at the top of each week. Uh, I still have to upload this week, so I've been really busy. Uh, but, yeah, you get an extra video at the top of each week. And, yeah, whether you're subscribed on Twitch, uh, a YouTube member, or a Patreon member. Sorry, $5 and up, uh, and you have your accounts connected to your Discord. Terrifying Heatran? Uh, you want to be Terra Grass. Heatran already tends to run safety goggles. Yo, the Covert Cloak's about to go crazy. Do you guys want to see the world's riskiest play in the history of Pokemon? <laughs> guys, if I lose this match, it's not my fault. I had to do it for the content. This is the riskiest turn in the history of Pokemon. I'm in her focus. 
The riskiest turn in the history of Pokemon. Please be defiant. Are you... D it's Insomnia? Bro, why are you Insomnia, dude? Why are you Insomnia? <laughs> Why are you not defiant? All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> you don't get it, man. I could have gotten crazy boosts off of that. Alright, good news is, um, pretty sure I just pick up the KO here. Why are you not defiant? <laughs> yeah, I would have been plus five. You get the same boost off of Swagger? No, I don't. No, I don't. All right, this KO's you. Cool with that. I still have like a really crazy Flamigo. I'm so annoyed, bro. I'm so annoyed. Salamence. Garbage Pokemon. Garbage Pokemon. Speed was heightened? <sighs> Garbage Pokemon here. Let me let me show you how, you how we deal with Salamence. Yes, Defiant triggers for each shot, yeah. Or for each stat drop. So the this guy would have gotten like plus five or whatever. Yeah, Flamigo does have a boost. All right, if they rage fisted my guy, I would have been really happy. Can you like rage fist my Dragonite? Don't drain punch, I'll cry. Hard. It lives, pain. Breaking swipe, pain. Faster. Does nothing. His rage fist hurts now. Okay, cool. There's no need to cry. No need to cry. Um. I think I still absolutely e speed. And go into bundle here. I just have to land a single Hydro Pump and I'm good. No, no, no. I'm not going to let the Flamigo drop um, because they absolutely went for Drain Punch into my Dragonite. They're too greedy. They're too greedy. Told you. I told you they were going to get greedy with it. There's the flutter. What I do here is I call a protect on the annihilate and I attempt a tailwind and let Flamigo go down. Because I don't need the speed boost to outspeed, um, whatever it's called, to outspeed Fluttermane, but they totally want to protect their annihilate here on the hydro pump. Uh, and if I, if either one of my Pokemon goes down, this will have been worth it. So this is the turn that I sack that Flamigo. I think the best outcome is I get Tailwind and they KO Flamigo, but I don't think I get both. 
They should be protecting here. That's so greedy, bro. There's no way that they were just ready and what wait, what if they're scarf? Wait, I'm scared, but I still got the tailwind off, so I'm like good. Scarf does not speed. Yeah, they were getting like mad greedy. All right. Um, do I go bundle here? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Grim Snarl and try to KO this uh, Mischievous. Because I'm pretty sure Ice Spinner Spirit Break does it. I don't need to Earthquake. It's too risky. I could also Thunder Wave it, but that's like super risky too. I think I'd rather just go for the damage. Photosynthesis happened on my bundle. Alright, cool. I'm pretty sure I just went off of that. Awesome. Now that we know it's not Defiant, um, I'm just free to click whatever I want. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no way that they can be like a max speed flutter if I if I just outsped them under Tailwind. I'm gonna keep boosting his Rage Fist because I don't care. It's just a matter of being able to Hydro Pump him. I get one shot regardless. Cool, these are basically the two I wanted on the field versus this. I just go for Hydro Pump and uh, E Speed. And if I land the Hydro, I always win. And if I don't, I have to go for E Speed Crit. Or not E Speed Crit, but uh, Earthquake Crit. <laughs> Can you, like, just don't move? Just don't move for me. I love EGC, bro. I love EGC, I love EGC, I love EGC, I love EGC. <laughs> I love EGC so much. I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. Everything went wrong this game. Oh, yo, I got the crit. Hold on. Don't move. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Um, this is just Pomot Geary stuff. Like I said, Dragonite, like, it, I could copy the Omni Boost, but it's not like I get anything out of it. Versus Dozo. I definitely just, like, keep Iron Bundle healthy in the back. And Gothitelle might be my best friend. Let's do this. Does Doza run unaware in VGC? Yes, 100% of the time. I'll be honest, I don't even find it particularly hard to get into Master Ball. It's mainly just like the first few like games that I'm like, oh, I, I need to like not play like I'm on like top 2000. It's weird. Um, Pokemon's like weird like that. I 
I definitely Terra Normal Earthquake here. Swagger this thing. They should fake out my Grim Snarl. Uh, if they go for the hard read in close combat into my uh, my Dragonite, that'd be kind of crazy. But I think I'm fine. Cloak's gonna stop that. Land the Swagger. Definitely Sash on Pomot. Yeah, Unaware also ignores stat drops. Okay, cool. Both the Mons here live that. Probably for the best. Because next turn I'll be able to get in my Gothitelle. And I can actually just sort of like one by one deal with all the Pokemon on the field. Yeah. I'm just going to go for the E-Speed on the Pomot. Make sure they can't Revival Blessing anything. Uh, and we'll go ahead and Parting Shot the Sylveon. And get in the Gothitelle so they can't do any like defensive switching. This will also make it so I can like... How do I say it? I can... Ignore Sylveon for a little bit, and if they don't hit themselves here, okay, that's not actually good for me, because now they get in Dozogiri. Hmm. Uh, not the end of the world. Uh, my Terra Normal Extreme Speed does like 30%-ish. And I can just Parting Shot spam this thing. But yeah, I was kind of hoping to, like, just get Dozo in by itself, or, like, Tatsugiri in by itself and deal with it individually. Yeah, it's not the end of the world. We just fake out and spam. Go for the E-Speed. Harding shot it. Oh, that did like nothing. Oh yeah, it's unboosted. I do like 30%. Luckily, I did bring Bundle in the back, but uh, we're going to hold on to that for a sec. Moxie unboosted. True. Helping Hand Freeze Dry, I think, will come very close to KOing to the point where I can KO with whatever's in the back. Uh, the issue is they haven't terra yet, and we don't know what their Terra is, so I kind of have to play it, like, very carefully. Maybe here I Thunder Wave and Fake Out. That actually might be better. Cool. Uh, Spirit Break's a little safer. They should be Earthquaking too, so I'll just Spirit Break Psychic. Or, why did I Spirit Break? I meant to say, oh my god, I meant to say Parting Shot. And like, mentally, I, I Spirit Broke and said Spirit Break because I- I Spirit Broke because I said Spirit Break. Like, my- my own, like, accidental word caused me to click the literal wrong move. Alright. 
Uh, luckily, I think it's kind of trapped in the cycle here. But it got an attack boost. And I think that might be a little bit too much to recover from. Oh, I totally messed up there. That's so bad. I could just play for timer, and I should win. But that's no fun, and I really have to pee. Okay, we got a crit. Cool. That's all I really need. I can always send in bundle now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Why are you parting shot? Uh, unaware doesn't ignore your own stat drops. It's only the opponents. Yeah, had I had I parting shotted earlier instead of accidentally clicking uh, Spirit Break, I think we would have been fine anyways because they would have never been able to steamroll. Uh, but, but we're fine. I, I like very much misclicked and I still got rewarded for it because, you know, Pokemon gives and takes and it already took from us today. So it's going to give.